I'm Sarah Thompson and uh, the group is Take 10. What does Take 10 do? Mainly support. Where we, we offer a understanding, non-judgmental ear. Um, you know, we, we all come from backgrounds that we've lived it and we understand it and we get the people. Even if it's not exactly the same as what that person's going through, we've got an idea of how it feels. And it works well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's is it more kind of support, or do you do some activism around uh, suicide prevention? Actively, <laughs> go out and support people when they are in crisis. Yeah. Um, you know, which is out of hours, other than the group as well. Yeah. Um, or they do get that help within the group. It depends on the person's situation. Yeah, that group of knowledge and experience that you all have must be so powerful for somebody accessing yeah. that support. Well, we, we all get to know each other as well. Yeah. So we, we generally pick up on the body language and how that person is without them saying the words as well or yeah. having to say them words. And, you know, we all work together well to support that person. That's fantastic. Um, yeah. How many people are in the group roughly at the moment? It, it fluctuates. Yeah. <laughs> it fluctuates. Um, some weeks it's, we're busting at the seams and other weeks it generally we're a bit quiet. Generally affected by school times yeah. and weather and, you know, whether people's got appointments and might all fall at the same time. But, um, yeah, we... we have had up to about 30 people within wow, one setting. Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> and do you just run in Dewsbury or is there any other places that you run? Uh, we do run in Batley as well. Yeah. Um, but we do also have people that come from out of area to come and access our services as well. Wow. Is uh, that because there's nothing in their area? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't, like, as far as Nottingham. Really? That's incredible. Yep. Wow. Wow. Well, there, should be, yeah. there should be a group like this in every town, shouldn't there? <laughs> there should Fantastic. be. There should be. <laughs> Would you like to see it rolled out across the country, like different people, different it, groups doing it, similar? It'll be good because then there'll be more people that'll be able to get that support. Yeah, it's so important. You know, it? it's, it's saddening that the people, there's a need for the support, yeah. but it's also saddening that the support isn't there that when it's needed. Yeah, you absolutely. Know. So um, what time does your group run and can anybody drop in or do they need to book? Yeah, we... we on, well, when we're in town hall on the Wednesdays, which is adult sessions, we run from 10 o'clock in the morning up to half past two in the afternoon. And we do that on a drop-in basis. So they don't have to book in, they don't have to spend the full day. They're welcome to spend the full day if they want to. If not, they can pop in, have a cuppa, and then go do all the shopping or whatever they need to go. So it works for, you know, so more people can access it and it's more suitable for people. And, and what kind of people normally access the group? Is it people that have, their lives have been touched by suicide, people that are currently experiencing... All thoughts? different walks of life. Yeah. Um, different, well, we have different genders, different cultures, yeah. different backgrounds, different issues. Everyone has their own little thing, but they, they're all welcome to come in and... So it's for everybody? It's for everybody. That's fantastic. For everybody. Yeah. Yeah. What work do you do in the community going out to um, so, so-called suicide hotspots? Um, what we'll do, we'll go out, we'll just generally chit-chat to people, um, give them leaflets um, to give them information of where they can access support um, and just make them aware that there are people out there that they can access to get help and support. Um, we also... We could sign posts as well if we think that they, you know, there's anything that they may get use out of. Um, we also, as well, we make them aware that when they, if they do access a group, we do have other organisations come in that gives them access to other support there as well that may benefit them. Um, but just generally noticing people's moods and stuff as well while we're out there and just being aware of that, you know, and picking up on that sort yeah, of vibe, things, yeah, 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 like someone generally think, for instance, we're in White Rose and someone would have just looked at this lady thinking that she was doing the shopping, whereas we didn't, you yeah. know, we ended up there, we ended up standing there and potentially saving that lady's life that day. Wow. Is that because of the experience you've had that you recognise the same sort of things? It's, you've yeah. had any formal training, it's just literally because of... Or have you had some formal we, training? We have, we have done um, courses. Um, me, me and my 
my colleague uh, um, at the moment doing a level four in suicide first aid. Yeah. Um, and it's a it's a city and guilds uh, qualification, and oh, it's a brand great. new qualification that's just come out. So we we won at first to stick this qualification. Oh, piloting! Yeah. <laughs> um, but then we've also done other courses as well, like communicating with youth at risk, yeah. um, safeguarding, yeah. and uh, I've also sat a child mental health yeah. level two as well. So, but different. Um, different people within our team have sat different courses, so we've all got different qualifications between us. Oh, so you've got a really strong pool of knowledge, yeah, haven't you? Yeah, we've got a, experience. Yeah. Yeah, that's fantastic. How do you how do you keep this group going, and is there any funding that you receive? <laughs> uh, well, we like to do wacky things. <laughs> um, last year, myself, I had me hair shaved to grab people's attention yeah. <laughs> um, and, and get people talking as well. So we did that. Um, we we also last year there were quite a few of us that did um, a it was called Gong Ho Challenge, which is an inflatable five k obstacle course. Yeah. So we got sponsors from people to do all that. Um, we've also had a, a a gentleman called Jake who was willing to get waxed and shaved as well to raise a bit of funding. Um, we we did. Um, it was it's called Jules with Soap and different people go in with their ideas and they'll do a pitch and then people vote and we actually won that as well last oh, year that's great. so that was fantastic um, and also we've had other people that have done GoFundMe yeah. um, to raise money for us and we've done backpacking at Asda which give us the opportunity as well to get the word out there and get talking to people just generally asking how they are um, and if there's anything we could do even if they didn't want to donate <laughs> so that was good as well do you have a way for people to donate um online or anything if people wanted to donate how would they go about doing that i do believe that we have got a go from me yeah on, that's up and active that people i believe so brilliant. yeah yeah really that's um, fantastic we have facebook we have instagram um word of mouth and then just generally with us being out in the public as well getting a chance to speak to people and uh, yeah it's it's about people in world doing it like that brilliant yeah. we'll link we'll link all the social yeah. media it's lovely to talk to you thanks so much oh, for your time you. and good luck with everything keep up brilliant yeah. work thank you <laughs>